AI scraping. I do a lot of scraping as part of my workflows and also as part of my SaaS products. And one of the things that easily you can do with Hinaten is scraping because of the agent feature. I'll show you what I mean by that in a second. So I have this crawl agent here. This is a simple crawl agent, which is a an advanced AI agent here. And the one of the interesting features of these agents are they can run in a loop. So if I say something as simple prompt like this, you are an expert crawler for given website to find the relevant information that the user is asking for, crawl the URL and sub URLs. And then I have a crawling procedure, fetch the content and store them in the website content database, extract the URLs and look at the URLs within the content and crawl them as well and go to step one and repeat the process. So all you need is just a way to get the content off a web page. This can be easily done by the HTTP request node, which is if I have a crawl agent like this, I add a tool with the HTTP request tool, I open the chat and I say, find out the contact information of the owner or a decision maker from that agency right there. Then if I send that, you can see that this HTTP request and then I pin that for the sake of testing. Open this, execute it once and then now I have the URL that I have to add that there. So I can actually say scrape or fetch simple fetch web, web content, something like that. Get the content of link using a simple process, something like that. And here I can just say do a placeholder URL and in in the definition this will be filled in by the model so if i say it for placeholder it has to be the thing within the curly brackets and say the url to be scraped and that will be a string and if i rename that and also save this now rerun the chat again if i click on this repost message unpin and send now it will call the fetch tool with the right url right and then it, it keeps on calling it until it finds the information so it's not a you crawl all the whole website and store it in a rag system and after that finding information this is real-time searching because the agent has the ability to go in a loop it goes to the second page here work looking for the contact information and about page so it doesn't actually crawl the all the urls it looks at the urls in the home page and then figures out which URL URL has the higher chance of having that information. So it has found the telephone Chris McGuire and Chris Hanna. So if I McGuire's agency LinkedIn, if I search, I get the interval. Glasgow area. So that's the idea. So you can practically ask anything without pre-fetching, pre-crawling anything and store in a rag system. That is for the simple fetch, but that won't work all the time because, because it is a simple fetch, it some sites have bot protection. Scraping can get difficult, Cloudflare or reCAPTCHA integration for the page. So for example, if I give this tool URL and ask it to, I want to find the pricing information from this page. And I will say find out the pricing info from for this tool actually that's this url here and dash if i give that it will always fail because the url the content is actually not loaded the only the javascript gets loaded the simple fetch won't work you need a browser actually to load the javascript which then loads the actual content of the page for that you will need to use a browser-based fetch tool there are two popular ones actually one is one more popular one one, I think it's overhyped a little bit. It's called Firecrawl, and the other one is called Crawl for AI, which is an open source. You can deploy it on your own. This, this is also open source, but it doesn't have proxy rotation, etc. That's only available on the cloud version. So both can be self hosted. Another thing to note is that this is a GPL license, which means that you might not be able to monetize whatever you build directly with it. But if you host it, it might be all right because it's not built on it, but it's just used it not really sure about the exact agpl license here but i think that's the gist of it whereas crawl for ai has a mighty or apache 2 license yeah this is much more permissive if you want to use this if the fetch is not working for me for some reason next thing i do is to go to this is one of my favorite services called serper it has a lot of bunch of functionality one of them being the web page functionality you can do like google searches images videos places maps reviews all sorts of things with this one of the thing is the web page so if i give it that unloadable url to 
here to this service here this can actually grab the content here so this is the simplest form of scraping though this is a paid service but their free tier are very generous i'm almost out of my free credits yeah so that's this is the most popular one simplest one that i use you don't need anything complicated even if you want to scrape information across web pages say for lead generation you have a bunch of links and find the decision makers of those companies you can give it a bunch of links and the agent itself can intelligently scroll it you can also ask it to do other things which i'll show you in a minute this is the serper scrape serper also uses the browser at their end and that's why they are able to get the content this is much faster so if i ask the same thing again for the tool it will now find it yep it is working now it's scraping different urls you can also see the output from the model as well the serper scraper so you have the pricing plans now so that's how you do it with serper